Okay. So good afternoon. So this is a, the explanation of the example uh, which I gave you as an exercise uh, on our minimalist chart, which is the combination of the combo uh, combination of the donut and the column chart minimalist. So we have to uh, you have to watch the previous videos first. This is the sixth part of the video, but I, I uploaded this a little later. So once you finish, I, I want you to try first uh, that uh, activity. OK, so let's proceed to our explanation of that. I will share to you again the PowerPoint. So this is what I want you to do uh, to make a donut chart and a column chart combination okay so from this table so i already gave you the table um now i want to do this in another in an excel file so let me just copy this is uh, slide number eight the original table okay stop sharing this and i will share it to you the Excel file. Okay, so the same Excel file that we were working on earlier, I just want you to add a new worksheet and copy that uh, table. So there's no need for you to worry about this. It's already here. Uh, just refer back to the Excel file, uh, to the PowerPoint. Uh, what you want to do first is to analyze. So from the output, uh, you want January, February, March, April. These are actually math, but on letters. So actually, this is that part where in the letter and the percentage are in the column chart. So you have to insert the table, which is this one, clustered column, the simplest column chart. So it's very simple. All you have to do is to remove the other component. Uh, remove the axis. Remove the chart title and the grid length. OK, ah, so but no, no, the axis you have to keep the vertical, remove, uh, keep the horizontal, remove the vertical. So you have here only um, the letters J, means January, F, M, and so on. Okay, the two lowest is April and May. So April 1st, which will be formatted as red fill and May as well. Red fill. The highest is August, that was it was that's why it was formatted as green. Uh, let us see. Ah, August and September. So green. Okay, and then as you can see here, there is an overlap. Where was it? Yeah. Okay, the gap width will adjust the width side. So you've seen this in our previous lessons or previous examples. So I want you to do that. Okay, now the trick here is to make another uh, uh, another chart, which is the donut, and then later on I'm going to show it to you how do we combine this. So as you can see here, 86% and 14%. All you have to do is to highlight uh, the two. So as 86% is the average of this, I assume. I haven't uh, computed it, but this is the average. And then this is 14%, which is the complement of 86% out of 100. You subtract 86 from 100, it's going to be 14. So why do we need these two values? Because of the donut I explained earlier. In uh, actual 86% together with the uh, uh, complement of this. Uh, insert. 
on chart donut chart okay so this is your donut just remove the chart title and the legend that's it and now the plot area people check which is uh the orange color format shape fill no fill okay so it's gonna be blue in color refer to your powerpoint this is gonna be the same but we want to project the 14 percent so i told you earlier just there are two ways on how to do that and i can use insert text box click here and then equal sign then click on b14 because that's where the 14 percent value is and enter okay i'm just moving the 14 percent Okay, so I hope you can do that. Now, I need to combine this with here. Now that the only uh, trick here is to remove the fill of the chart itself. Not the bars, but paper. It's like your canvas. Uh, make it transparent. So from here, format, just click the chart. Let's just move this first so that you can see it clearly. format no fill uh, outline to make sure no outline because you need to put it here on top okay so how do you put that on top either you put this bar chart on top you can see here bring forwards and backward on the chart tools format I will bring this forward okay now I can make it this smaller and then move this inside okay so this is not yet perfect but that's the way uh, it's almost perfect it's fine I think like I can do with this okay so thank you very much for participating in the activity and this is how you do the minimalist chart so that ends our discussion for advanced charts uh, and i hope you are still um, following all my videos and my lectures and once this crisis is over we'll see each other okay inshallah Bye. Ciao.